Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a haul of the activewear that I've thrifted recently to list over on my Posh Athletica Poshmark. So yeah, if this is the first activewear haul of mine you're watching or this is the first video of mine you're watching. Uh, my name is Allie and I'm just a part-time reseller, but I do sell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, Depop, Curtsy, and Kissing. And basically when I like source at actual thrift stores, I only go through the activewear and all that stuff I list on my curated Poshmark, Poshmark closet called Posh Athletica. And so I curate everything, you know, obviously has to be activewear, but I also like curate it based off of brand and style. So um, yeah, basically that's what this haul is gonna be. It's all activewear, like luxury, trendy, high-end activewear. So if that does interest you, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right in with perhaps like what I'm like the two maybe things that I'm most excited about. Um, the first one is this, um, it's like an oversized shirt, like with a collar and snaps, um, but it's a collab and I would never, I never pick up this brand, like if it's not a collab, it's New Balance, but it's a collab they did with Stoud, Stoud, um, which is, you know, a designer. And so, um, yeah, oh, it's new with tags too, which is super fabulous. There's no price on here. Um, but I'm assuming it retailed for like well over a hundred, like these activewear designer collabs can do really well. And obviously most of them are limited edition. So, um, some of them, like the resale value is, is even greater than the retail value. Um, so yeah, we'll see, but I'm expecting this to do pretty well, but I, it'll depend on like how many are like others are listed. But um, yeah, you'll see like what I decided to list it for uh, because I haven't listed any of this stuff yet, but by the time I go to edit this video, I'll have everything listed. So I'll be throwing up screenshots of my listings and basically like my pricing, I think I would consider I price like things pretty fair. So like a lot of my stuff does sell for my full asking price. If not, like maybe I'll like, I'll be, my wiggle room is like $10. If it's over $50, it's like $10. If it's under $50, normally it's only like $5. Um, or well, it kind of depends on the brand, but, um, yeah, some stuff does sell in bundles, but now I used to like only sell activewear, like any kind of activewear. Um, and so, but now I've kind of like curated it even more, you know, to these more like luxury brands. And so like a lot of my stuff is more expensive. So I've been selling less bundles than what I used to, but some of the stuff does sell in bundles. And so it kind of depends on how many things are in the bundle and like, you know, what the things are, like what percentage I'll take off. Um, but normally it's around like 20%. So um, yeah, anyway, let's just keep moving on. Another thing I'm super exciting about, excited about is this like, it's just like a mesh tank top, but again, new with tags. Um, and it's like a Nike Lab piece. And so like, if you watch my videos, my other activewear, activewear hauls, I'm sure you've noticed, like I don't really pick up these like mall brands, you know, like New Balance, Nike, Adidas, like all those, like I kind of stay away from just because, I mean, I know they can sell, but like I kind of only sell stuff that like sells for at least $30 and like a lot of those things like don't. And, but like Nike lab stuff, it's just like a division of Nike. A lot of the stuff is more streetwear inspired or like Nike lab will do collaborations with like designers or like other brands. Like I think like Nike lab had like their off-white collab and stuff. Um, this piece was sold on Revolve. It still has the Revolve tag on it. Um, but yeah, it's just like a tank top. So um, again, like I also like never, like if you watch my hauls, like I never pick up like tops. Like it's always sports bras and leggings, maybe jackets. Just because like tops don't, like they don't sell for a lot. Like sports bras and leggings sell for more. Um, but obviously like that piece was an exception because of the brand. And so, yeah, like I know people do wear tank tops like to the gym or like, you know, doing their active activities. But like personally, I don't like when I'm at the gym, I just wear a sports bra. So this is another reason why like I don't really look through the tank tops because like I'm not really interested in them because I don't wear them. So yeah, but I'm super excited about that tank top. Um, but I actually, there's more Nike stuff in here, which is very rare because like, you know, I said I never pick up mall brands, but um, I'll explain once I get to those pieces why I picked up those. Um, but yeah, next up I have this pair of leggings. They're like, they have pockets, they're full length, high-waisted, they do have mesh on the side, like at the ankles. And so with leggings, you know, I basically, like it has to be like a good, like there has to be a reason, like a, like, but basically like I only pick up high-waisted 
and full length leggings. Like I'll pick up seven eighth leggings. Um, but yeah, you know, basically like seven eighth full length high waisted. It has to be both for me to pick it up. And you know, obviously good brand and recent style and stuff. But this is by the brand Petula. This is their logo. And so Petula, if you're unfamiliar with that, I know I've showed it in past hauls because I have picked it up before, but Petula is obviously an activewear brand. It's founded by Sammy B, who's like an Instagram fitness influencer. And so all those brands, you know, like Buff Bunny, Alpha Lee, like that are founded by like fitness influencers tend to do really well because influencer influencers already have their followers and then they start these lines. So then like these lines, like all their followers will like should have interest in their new lines so um yeah but Petula is like a reason why it's pretty popular is because it's pretty like I mean it's not like super affordable but it's definitely cheaper than other activewear lines so I mean I'm not that's one of the brands like that's like the trendy brands that I sell that aren't going to sell for as much much as like the luxury brands but it should sell, sell really fast Petula tends to do really well and those were a size large like Petula does like they do like their smallest size and that isn't extra extra small and so like, I mean, that stuff might, you know, take longer to sell with extra, extra small, but you know, extra small or above, you know, should sell pretty fast. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's more affordable. So like, I'm just expecting, I think in like low thirties for those leggings, like nothing too crazy, but you know, I picked it up because it should sell fast. Um, and yeah, but next up is another new tag thing. It's like, it's kind of confusing. So like it was, it wasn't really marked up at Goodwill. Um, like nor leggings, I pay uh, $5.99 for at my Goodwills, but then I get 10% off. So it comes out to $5.40 for the leggings, sports bras. It's either like $3.99 or $4.99 for um, sports bras, but then I get 10% off. Um, and then tops, it like kind of varies. Like, And then, you know, if it's new with tags, it kind of varies. But um, honestly, I don't know because I never pick up tops. I forget how much I paid for those two, but um pretty like definitely under ten dollars so for like the the nike lab top and the new balance so obviously like i'm more than willing to pay under ten dollars for those like pretty amazing pieces that are new with tags but yeah next this so it's new with tags athleta and there's actually no price on it like they there's like a sticker over where the price normally is um but it's like this hoodie long sleeve hoodie thing but like i mean i haven't looked into it yet but I'm pretty sure like that's like this hoodie is like a hoodie with like a built-in ski mask. So I feel like Google was a bit confused because like it, it looks kind of odd. So they didn't really mark it up. Like they didn't really mark it up. It was only $5.99. So um, yeah, I picked it up, but they also might not have known what Athleta was and like, you know, the price is marked out. But um, yeah, I'm assuming like normally the stuff, like, like I would venture to say it retail for $98. That's kind of their go-to pricing. Um, but um yeah i'll have to look at cop at comps but yeah it's a size small so hopefully it does well it's definitely the season for it so yeah that's another reason why like i did pick up another tank top and i did that because like it's you know a bit colder so maybe people are more inclined to wear like tank tops who wouldn't normally but um yeah this is another activewear designer collab piece it, and i picked up a piece from them before i actually did a full haul on like it was like a whole haul of just like luxury activewear that I thrifted. And so I, I found a pair of leggings from like this collab that was in that haul, but this is like a sports bra. I don't know if this would be considered a sports bra or a crop top. I haven't looked into it yet, but it's the Athleta and Derek Lamb collab, which is older now. And so like Athleta, my cutoff tends to be 2018 and I'm able to like, you know, know what day it came out is because, because on the Athleta tags, it always says what day, um, it says, so this is from fall of 2015, which is so freaking old, but it's like that designer collab. And um, yeah, it's in really great condition. It does have like a built-in bra kind of, like shelf bra kind of. Um, so I'm, I feel like this would be considered a crop top, not a sports bra. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it does. Um, but since it is older, I mean, I don't know if like, it's still desirable like that does but it, you know it does have that designer name so but if for some reason it's just sitting in my closet i know i can easily take that to a buy sell trade store or even send it into the real real and like get my money back and probably also make a profit so um yeah next up i have two pieces from this brand that i never pick up ever except for if it's at the bins or like for some reason special but it's um first the first pair are like these leggings they're like black but they have a subtle print to them 
and um, again, high-waisted and full length, um, but they're from Lululemon. <laughs> and so I just don't really like song Lululemon because I don't know, there's, there's, it's like super saturated on Poshmark. And I don't know, I personally don't really like the brand. Like I, there's just other brands I prefer more to Lululemon. And so like, you know, I kind of like selling brands that I like. So um, yeah, but I did pick up these because they were marked up, but they were only marked up, up to $9.99. And normally like Lululemon at my Goodwills are marked up like stupid high. And so like that was pretty reasonable, I guess. And um, another, so like obviously have to be high-waisted and full length for the leggings. And the way you can determine if Lululemon is like a recent piece or not, is like in 2017, they started putting like the style number around the size dot. So if it has the style number around the size dot, then I'll pick it up. And as you can see, these are also a size 14. So I don't think I've ever sold Lululemon in a size 14, but they're in really great condition. There is a little bit of pilling in the crotch, but I'll just take a sweater shaver to it and normally it cleans up really nice. Um, but I did find another pair. Um, these ones have like a subtle, I don't know if it's necessarily like leopard print or just like this kind of abstract-ish print. These ones appear to be a little bit more cropped than the other ones, but they are high-waisted Lululemon and they do have like the style number around the size dot. These ones are a size 12 though. Um, but if you are someone that does pick up like Lululemon, like older Lululemon that doesn't have the style number or like you just find it at the bins or whatever and you're kind of, it's kind of hard to determine what it is. Um, instead of using Lulu Fanatics, um, you know, that website, I would instead go on Facebook and join the group. It's called Lululemon A to Z. And in that group, you can just like post a photo of your item and everyone will help you identify it. And like people, like they do it pretty instantaneously. Like you'll get a response within like 10 minutes. And obviously that's great. But you, they also have like an albums with like folders of like, you know, leggings and jackets and stuff. And you can just go and scroll through those and try to find your item as well and do it that way. And their photos, like the way like their cover photos are, I guess, it's just way easier to look through than Lulu Fanatics in my opinion. And it still has all the info and stuff on it. So um, yeah, but anyway, next up um, we have these leggings. Oh, so these ones, they're like, they have like this crisscross on the waist um, like that. And they're in like really flawless condition, except there was like one spot, like they're in, they feel like new without tags, but like there was a spot on the stitching that was a tad messed up. Um, but they're from the brand Beyond Yoga, which is a brand I really like selling, but I mean, maybe some people are able to sell it for a ton of money. Maybe it's just me, but like, honestly, I kind of doubt it. <laughs> but um, it, I consider it more of like a bread and butter brand for me because it like, basically my listing normally with, Beyond Yoga, I'll sell them for $35, which isn't a lot for like leggings, you know, like some like, like a lot of leggings I sell, sell for over $50. So that's not much, you know, sometimes I do list them at 45 and some people do buy it full price or, you know, take an offer of 35. That's, that's kind of like been my recent Beyond Yoga pricing strategy when it comes to leggings is listing at 45, maybe sometimes selling it for full price or like my lowest offer I'll take is 35. You know, sometimes I'll get a $40 offer, so I'll accept it. But these ones like are the space dye fabric, which it's, it's not only called that because of like the marl, the look to it, but also like it's super soft. Like it's just, it's a certain, like they call it the space dye because of like the um, fabric composition, like not just because of how it looks. So if you ever find a space dye piece and maybe it's not in the style name, it's, you know, it's just called the crossover legging or whatever, but it is that space dye fabric, I would go ahead and throw in space dye into your title or at the very least your description because people are looking for like, specifically looking for Beyond Yoga space dye stuff because it's so soft. So um, yeah, but um, next up, okay, so these are a pair of Nike leggings that I did pick up. And you know, like I said, I normally never pick up Nike, but these ones, so um, basically like, obviously Nike has like, they're kind of, you know, there's like Nike stuff sold at like TJ Maxx and stuff, pretty basic. But these ones, like, I mean, I'm not, I don't think Nike has, has a specific name for like the line, but they have like this kind of like, it's almost like, it kind of feels like a, it has like a luxury feel to it. Um, and some of this stuff is sold on Carbon 38. And so those pieces I will pick up, like I'll basically pick up Nike stuff that I feel like I could sell for over $30 if it's like not, cause some Nike, sometimes the thrift store does price up Nike. So it has to be like the regular price of, you know, $5.99, which I paid $6.44. So like 
I mean 544 so um yeah I feel like these will do well um they do have you know the silver accents there was like a small little spot on like one of the like the elastic right there I don't know if you could see that there's like a small spot but I think like it's pretty faint so I think you know it won't really be a big deterrent um but yeah next up is this camo sports bra it's kind of like a cool like knit fabric I don't know if you could tell but it's the lining is like a mesh lining it's just like the outside part but it's from the brand coral it's on like the band I don't know if you can see it and then um yeah I've shown coral in past hauls and I always say their metallic stuff does the best which is true um but I picked this up just because like this tag is like their current tag like it's more recent so like it's a recent piece and I just thought it was cool because like the knit fabric so um yeah I'll just give it a go and you know sports bras are part like even though they sell for less than leggings they are priced cheaper at the thrift store so I feel like I don't know less bad about picking up like like the, I found leggings and this maybe I would pass just because you know I'm kind of wasting like five at least five dollars and forty cents on them this I think it was only marked at like 2 dollars so like cheaper than usual um because I feel like this might have actually been in like the bra section not in the sports bra section at my thrift store so they marked it a little bit cheaper so um yeah we'll see how it does um but next up is another crop top it's just a very basic black tank top but it's from the brand buff bunny that i mentioned previously um which is the fitness influencer heidi summers activewear line it's been around for like a few years now um but a lot of like this is like a pretty like uh well, i mean for one it's pretty basic and i'm pretty sure like this stuff it's like kind of available no matter what but like they do have their limited edition collections and launches and like that stuff normally it's like it sells out pretty fast and you know they, they're not going to bring it back so like that stuff can do really well um but yeah buff bunny and alfley are pretty similar like you can get a pretty decent amount for them but the older stuff you're not it's not obviously gonna have the same resale value as like their newer stuff and they have been around for like you know a decent amount of time now so like some of their older stuff is like you know still circulating in the thrift store and like i'll come across it a lot but i'll kind of pass on it because like it is older so yeah but next up i have these leggings they have like i don't know if you can tell but like they have a stripe on the side and it's like glittery and they have like a drawstring waist um but it's from the brand spiritual gangster and you know spiritual gangster it's like kind of like they do have like their activewear pieces that, like I feel them and it's like a performance fabric but they also have like their athleisure like more like pieces like the tank tops and stuff or stuff you would wear like post gym you know and like their their like graphic tees and stuff but um yeah these are a nice pair of leggings they're size small um yeah they're not their performance fabric they're more like a cotton e legging but I'm sure they'll do well. Spiritual Gangster definitely has a follow following, like particularly among yogis, but I know a lot of people still like, you know, their graphic tees and stuff. So yeah, next up we have um, a definite favorite of mine. They're these ribbed lace-up leggings. Um, they're from the brand Year of Ours, which I love selling. One of my favorite brands to sell, especially now because it used to not be one of the brands on Poshmark, like you'd have to manually type it in, but now it is a brand on Poshmark. So it's even more easier to like, for like people to like look for it on Poshmark. Um, but yeah, these are called the ribbed football leggings and like the football leggings are kind of their signature leggings, which are like the lace up ones. And these are a size medium. Um, your bars, in my opinion, does run small. I mean, I don't know if any of you care about that, but like, um, but yeah, so, um, these leggings I'm normally able to sell like used for I mean over $70 I believe like if not high like high 60s at the very least I feel like I've sold used for over 70 though so um yeah I love finding your bars and it's kind of like I don't know based off of the brand name I feel like thrift stores think it's kind of like nothing <laughs> so like normally they don't mark it up because sometimes like when I'm in Los Angeles because like I'm from there and so I'll go thrifting when I'm visiting my family like you know their leggings at like in LA normally it's $4.99 but if for some reason they think there's something special about them they'll mark them at $7.99 um but I feel like when I found your bars in LA like they just keep them at $4.99 because like because kind of based off of the name they don't really think it's anything special but yeah next up we have a pair of leggings they're black and I don't know if you could tell but they're cropped like capris they're not the capris that go like 
right below the knee. They're like, I think they're like the mid calf type ones, but definitely like if it wasn't this, well, not even this brand. So it's the brand Aloe, Aloe Yoga. And so if this was like, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Aloe Yoga fabrics. I always mention this, but these are the airlift leggings, not the airbrush leggings. The airbrush leggings are like their cottony soft type of leggings, which honestly, when I feel them, I feel nothing special about them. And I don't know why people like, like buy them. Like I'm assuming they just buy it because of the brand name. Cause like they don't feel like anything special to me but these are the air lift leggings which are their like performance fabric they're very like sleek and silky like sweat wicking feeling and so like these can do so well i've sold cropped ones for over 60 dollars. i forget how much like i i want to say like 64 dollars. i sold them for for the cropped ones and so the full length ones are sold for even more so yeah, definitely Aloe Airlift is like an exception to my like no cropped leggings, but these were high waisted. If they were not high waisted, I don't know if I would have gotten them. But um, yeah, next up we have, what do you know, another Nike piece. Um, and these, as you can see, they're like kind of like metallic. They have a little bit of a sheen to them, which I love selling like metallic-y type stuff. They're like, they are kind of metallic-y and kind of like in some lights, there appears to be like a kind of little spot on them, but it's kind of faint. But um, yeah, these ones also with Nike, you know, it has the date and these are from summer of 2021. So definitely a recent piece, which is why I picked them up. If they were marked up, I wouldn't have picked them up, but you know, for $5.40, I'll pick them up. And I am expecting, I honestly didn't look at comps for these. And it's really easy because Nike does have the style number and all their stuff, but I'm expecting over 30 for them, which is why I was willing to pick them up. But yeah, again, like I said, I don't really, I actually never really go through the top section, like activewear tops, um, but I did kind of just because I feel like it's more so the weather for it. This is a tank top and it's from Beyond Yoga. Again, it's a size small. It has like this cool striped mesh. I didn't realize it till like I got it home, but like, I don't know if you could tell, but like the mesh, the like striping and like the middle part is a bit weird in this section. Like, I don't know what happened or how that even happened. But it's still in really great condition, still functional, obviously. So, um, yeah, next up, oh, this is in my pile because I need to list it, but I didn't thrift this. This was mine. It's just this black high neck sports bra. The back is pretty cool. It's strappy. It's from the brand Sunita Athletics. Um, this is the logo. This is like their current logo. So, like, um, they do, like, their older logo is a tad different. But Sunita, I would never like pay like my thrift store prices. Cause like, I mean, for one, my thrift stores never have sales. Um, like, well, my Goodwills, they never have sales. Not even, not even half off, no dollar days, no nothing. Um, so like that's, it's a bit much for me to be paying, you know, thrift store prices for it. But if I find it at the bins, I would definitely pick it up because Sunita definitely has like a really big cult following. But I know like the reason why I wouldn't pay thrift store prices for it is because part of the reason why they have that following is because they're really affordable. So like, I mean, you're not gonna get a ton of money for it because this probably only retailed for like maybe like $32. So like, I'm, I mean, I would be super lucky to get in the low 20s, but I'm probably expecting like maybe like $18 for it, but that was mine. So yeah, but next up, oh, what do you know? Another Nike piece, um, this is a sweatshirt. Um, but I thought it was really cool, like the graphic, it looks a bit like retro-y, does have stripe down the sleeve, it's like a terry cloth, kind of like towel material, you know? Um, but I believe this was a more recent piece as well, and I feel like I could get hopefully over 30 for it. Again, I didn't really look at comps, but I didn't, why well, didn't look at comps at all? This is from summer of 2020, so um, yeah, it's cool, I really like the color. Um, kind of gives me like streetwear-ish vibes as well. Um, but yeah, the last piece I got is also like super exciting, obviously. I, um, it's this bra, it's like all macrame, super cool. And um, it's from the brand Carbon 38, which I love selling. It's obviously Carbon 38's in-house brand. And this macrame stuff was limited edition from like, uh, I collection they had a few years ago, I think. I have sold a sweatshirt from this collab and leggings. And they did super well because obviously it's limited edition you can't buy it anymore and like all this stuff was like hand woven like macrame so that's super cool um i'm expecting a pretty decent amount for this bra because like obviously it's carbon 38 and then a limited edition collab uh not a collab but just like limited edition collection so yeah if you ever find like like they also carbon 38 also had like a celestial 
kind of collection with like this stuff is like black but then it has like gold metallic gold foiled like sun and moon celestial print that stuff does super well too that that collection was super like super popular it's super sought after now since it was limited edition so um yeah that was my haul hopefully you enjoyed let me know if you did learn a new brand from this and you know if you did you could also give this video a thumbs up and yeah i also really enjoy if people like you know they tell me like oh like i learned about carbon 38 from you and then they like dm me on instagram and like showing me that they found the stuff it makes me really happy so feel free to reach out on instagram it's just at posh Athletica. if you do find a brand that you learned because of me it just makes me happy so um yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Cheers.